Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books. Today we're talking about fans demanding the recasting of Takala because Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever has come out and people are not satisfied. Some people like the movie, a lot of people don't like the movie, but many, many people who enjoyed the first movie and noticed that it was a serious cultural moment to have someone like Takala, to have a Chadwick Boseman playing the Black Panther, they want a new Takala and they wanted it now. This isn't the first time this has come up. There was a big movement uh, back in August, 2020, uh, demanding and, and uh, asking for people to uh, take seriously at Disney to recast Takala, uh, but obviously it didn't happen. I did a video about this um, you know, a few weeks ago called Black Panther 2 is a Broken Promise. And what I meant by that is you do not launch a brand and then not deliver on that brand. You can't do that. You can't do that and not get some severe negative backlash. There's no way that Black Panther 2 can do the money that the first movie did. But beyond the money, the promise to the fans is, hey, if you love this character, if you enjoy the world of this character and how the character's interacting and you're following the character's development and you invest yourself in it and you buy the t-shirts and the toys and all the other merchandise and you talk about it with your friends and it becomes a special cultural moment, it's the responsibility of the company that created that character and took all that money from the fans to continue the character. Tragic as it is that Chadwick Boseman passed away. Now, this is coming from the direct. Unhappy Marvel fans reject Black Panther 2 plot, make recast Takala trend on opening weekend on Twitter. So let's get into this article. Before we do, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up when you like it. Really appreciate you guys. The channel's been doing great. The recast the column movement to replace the late Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther has emerged again after the release of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Of course, because you say Black Panther, they're expecting like the character to actually be the focus of the movie. Rewind to August 2020, amid the existing struggles of the pandemic, Marvel Studios was placed in its toughest position yet following the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman. This left fans divided between recasting the actor, replacing Takala in the mantle, or ending the Wakandan franchise altogether. Well, I mean, they could have delayed it for another year or two. You know, if you weren't going to continue the story of the character, if you weren't going to do that, what's the point of rushing out Black Panther 2? There is no point to it. You don't need it for continuity sake or story's sake. He could have been off on a mission if you needed to have him somewhere with the Avengers. You know, you could have made a story explanation for that. But instead, no, they decided, wow, what a great opportunity, spoiler alert, to create a female version of this male character. Like that is the ultimate goal. Destroy the old look and the old identity of the characters and bring in this new identity that excludes a certain race and gender. Obviously, Marvel Studios opted to continue the Black Panther franchise without Bozeman, with Wakanda Forever now serving as a tribute to the actor's legacy. So, like, maybe you do something like this on Disney+. Plus. You know, you do a half an hour show or some low budget hour show and you could have done a little special thing and something about the world of Wakanda, but no, not, not what they did here. Not what they did here. That's not what you're supposed to do. Part of this process involved passing on the torch of protecting Wakanda to another, which has long been speculated to be Letitia uh, Wright's Shuri. Okay, here come more spoilers. Now, after the long-awaited opening of Wakanda Forever, the new status of the mantle has been revealed. Bozeman Stakala has tragically died of an illness, which they don't even show you. It just happens off stage, and they just kind of mention it. While his sister Shuri has assumed the mantle of Black Panther, while Winston Duke's Mabaku takes on the throne. But that's not quite the entire picture, as Takala was revealed to have a son. Given the Wakanda name of Prince Takala, this handling of a difficult situation has led to glowing reactions from most fans, but not everyone is quite happy with Marvel Studios' choices because they don't make sense. If you think they make sense, let me know in the comments below. Educate me, tell me why. I don't know it all, I'll just tell you what I know, but I am right in this situation. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below. If you agree, hey, let's hear it too. Recast Takala resurges amid Black Panther 2 release. 
This has led to resistance from supporters of the Rikesh Takala movement, as the topic has trended on Twitter throughout November 12th over the opening weekend, implying some fans aren't happy with how Wakanda Forever's plot handled Takala's death. One user questioned the logic behind Takala's death, noting that the lack of proper explanation for how a man with so many superpowers just died. He says, explain to me why someone with super strength, speed, durability, sense, and resistance to disease born in the most technologically advanced nation in the world just dies. The movie didn't explain it. Yeah, you know, maybe they, they could have done a little bit better with trying to explain it. But of course, it doesn't make sense. It's a little hard to explain. So, uh, another user suggested that Marvel Studios may be financially benefiting, they may be, from Chadwick Boseman's passing by using the movie as an opportunity for fans to grieve. Hashtag recast Takala, the MCU should not use the passing of Chadwick Boseman as a plot. A good marketing tactic is to relate to our emotions. The MCU is benefiting financially from our emotions because of some of us going to see the movie is also an opportunity for us to grieve. The user included an explanation of their take on the Rakasta Kala movement, calling for the studio to not use Bozeman's death as, quote, a plot device in their fictional storytelling. It, it does sound kind of ridiculous when, you, when she puts it that way. Rakas Takala is not calling for an immediate recast. Rakas Takala is not preventing anyone else from taking up the mantle of Black Panther. Rakas Takala is asking Marvel Studios not to use the tragic passing of Chadwick Bozeman as a plot device in their fictional storytelling. Rakas Takala is asking for the portrayal of Takala to be allowed to continue in the MCU. Another user shared their frustration that one of the few black superheroes was killed after only one solo outing in the MCU. It is absurd, especially for people that talk about representation. How could you do this? Batman is an immortal character. Superman is an immortal character. Spider-Man is an immortal character. We had one black male superhero and you all killed him after one movie. Nah, son, which is better said, nah, son. Wakanda, not forever. Hashtag recast Takala. The same user called out their anger at using Takala as a tribute to a mere footnote. Irrelevant. MCU said, even in our dreams, even in our fantasies, black men can't change our narratives. We can't prevail. We can't be immortalized. We're a tribute, a mere footnote, irrelevant. Hashtag Wakanda forever. Hashtag recast Takala. Another user noted how Takala has now died two and a half times after his fight with Killmonger in Path Black Panther as a victim of the snap in Infinity War and now from illness of Wakanda Forever. It's true. MCU's Black Panther is the first superhero to die more than once in a franchise and have it stick. As a black man, that is insulting. Two and a half times. Halfway in Black Panther, Infinity War, and now Wakanda Forever. Freaking insulting recast Takala. Another user referenced the interviews with Bozeman's family members, which suggested he would have wanted another actor to become Black Panther after him. I mean, I'm not Bozeman and I can't be in his mind, but I would have been um, very disappointed to know that I resonated with so many people and provided such an interesting role model to then know that, no, they're just going to replace me with a woman and, and not let the story continue. You think he would have watched Chadwick Boseman? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Chadwick Boseman, would he have wanted his personal illness to negatively affect other people and negatively affect youth that looked up to him and saw him as an inspiration? I can't imagine he would have wanted that. No, let's burn the whole thing down. That didn't even start with me. He didn't create Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman. He didn't create it. He would have wanted it to die along with him, an untimely death. That's terrible. Multiple Bozeman family members said Chadwick would have wanted to recast Takala. And in interviews, Chadwick himself said he was proud to start a legacy like James Bond, which gets recasted all the time. The truth is the truth, even if you disagree, save Takala, Black Panther. The fan added their opinion that Black Panther 2 had a Takala-sized hole that can only be resolved by recasting the character. Look, recast Takala is still trending because folks are feeling that we have what we've said all along, we love Shuri, and yet Wakanda Forever still had its Akala-sized hole, and it should recast Takala. Only he can fill it. 
Another user compared Takala to Superman and stated that the Man of Steel doesn't die. Takala's our Superman, and Superman doesn't die. Marvel and Disney absolutely blew the bed with this one. They could have had the number one franchise in the MCU guaranteed every two to four years, and they killed him because they were emotional and because they didn't want a male hero in such a powerful role. They don't want that type of a role model, unfortunately. I mean, it's hate to have to say it. Very, very disappointing. However, not everyone agreed that Takala should have been recast. Another user shared uh, their opposition to the movement, revealing their happiness to finally get a black woman as the Black Panther for a while. <laughs> finally. Can a girl grieve the loss of Chadwick Boseman and his perfect portrayal of Takala and let his body get cold before you recast Takala? Damn, you're all cold-hearted. I'm happy to finally get a black woman as a pan Black Panther for a while, forever, forever, ever Black Panther. Responding to that sentiment, another user noted how recasts uh, after an actor's death is common and the movement exists to continue the story of Takala, not because supporters oppose the thought of a Black Panther represented by a female. A, characters are often recast after the actor passes away. They can give examples, of course. There are understudies in plays because people get replaced in main characters all the time ever since you've had plays, which is a very long time. Recast the Kala exists because the character has a lot of story left to tell, not because we don't want a female Black Panther. Stop trying to make it about feminism when it's not. <laughs> and then lastly, they claim you're an idiot. Um, I don't know if she's an idiot, but they, you made good points. Except, yeah, the idiot part's not nice. Uh, another user pointed out that Wakanda Forever represents an expression of the grief of the cast and crew who knew Bozeman far more than the fans. You, you can't do a film, literally can't do a film for the benefit of the cast and the crew, not the audiences. The cast and crew might represent a couple hundred people. There are millions of people that are the audience that paid for the product. That's why it's a broken promise and it's a destruction of the brand. You do not do something that serves a couple of hundred people. And look, you can do it. It's just incredibly disrespectful to the audience. Will fans warm up to the new, new MCU's Black Panther? No matter, I doubt it, but maybe some people will like it. No matter what fans may be thinking, Letitia is right, Shuri is now the MCU's Black Panther, and Marvel Studios will not be recasting Takala, at least not in the traditional sense. Shuri may only be six years old, but there's now an incarnation of Takala in the MCU, and he's the son of deceased king uh, and Wakandan hero. Perhaps he may have a young Avengers career ahead first, but one day Takala Jr. should be an Avenger himself, leading Wakanda and protecting his nation. So what do you think of all this? Let me know what you think in the comments below. There are obviously millions of people uh, that cared about the character that aren't looking for some female version of this character because the actor died, or more accurately, because Marvel saw an opportunity to kill a male superhero icon rather than continue it and replace it with a female version of the character, completely changing the meaning of the whole character and what the character actually represented. Definitely let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up when you like it. And I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.